me and Si are actually in La Fuga, which means the breakaway. Currently got a lead of about 15 minutes. We, we no, did press on, didn't we? We're no threat on the GC, let's accept that. But we could be battling out for the stage. The endless summer's here. Relax. Now, stage 20 of the 2015 Giro d'Italia isn't on paper the hardest one. It certainly doesn't have the greatest amount of climbing. But to our minds, this is the queen stage. Yeah, but the first 151 kilometers of the stage are totally flat before you reach the fearsome slopes of the Colle di Finestra. And then, of course, you have the descent and climb to Sestria at the finish. Yeah, but just to throw a spanner into the works, eight kilometers of this first climb are on gravel. But having said that, actually, the most selective point on this whole climb could come right at the bottom with slopes of up to 14%. So one team could well do a full-blown lead out into the bottom of this and the bunch will be in pieces. So when do you want me to start the lead out? Um, about a K, that's all right. Another K? Yeah, another K. Right. Just want to get the sensations right, Si. Yeah, I'm going too early. We've seen there, you can actually just about see the top up there. It'll be alright. Yeah. 18k. Yeah. 10%. Now we're only well, just under a k into this climb. You can tell it's really pretty brutal straight off the bat, but it's made worse. I think we need to accentuate this, Matt, by the fact that everyone will have done 150 flat kilometres and now suddenly, boom, 14%. Yep, 12, 14%. This is the steepest part of the climb. But as you say, the riders are going to have done approaching four hours on pretty much flat roads with no discernible climbs at all. Given it's the penultimate stage, given there's a lot at stake, it's going to absolutely detonate at the bottom. Yeah. And a lot of riders won't even bother trying to hold on. They'll just go south. Well, also, there's another thing that's really going to come into play. Given the profile of this climb, there is zero recovery. Yeah. No flat bits. So, riders that are relatively clued up are all going to be staring at their Garmin's or whatever and keeping their power to within their threshold. Because if you go over and you go into the red, then your threshold lowers by what, 70 watts? <coughs> This part of the climb, how, how far are we, Si? 6.62 kilometres, roughly. 6.2 k. Well, we've already done about eight or nine hairpins, and it really is. You've got stretches of only about 30 or 40 metres before another flick right or a flick left. Another hairpin Easy, Matt. You coming just up. attacked. If you look on a map, it's almost like somebody's intestinal tract. It's that twisty. So here we are, a crucial point on the Colle de Finestra, the Giro's Ying, to the Juro's gang. Well, now it might seem like we're overstating it, but actually this is what makes the climb so, well, I wouldn't say it's overstating, it's so brilliant actually. We've got yeah. tarmac for 11 kilometers. It's beautiful and it's, it's smooth. Relatively smooth. And then we've got eight kilometers of brilliant gravel to ride. I'm looking forward to it actually, Si. I am. Wonder if the riders are. <laughs> This is ridiculously hard. Just to put this into perspective, I'm riding in 36, 25, and I'm actually going quite hard. And there's actually some very sandy bits, it's very bumpy and uneven. I think tire choice as well on today's stage is gonna be crucial. Maybe guys, most guys, definitely rolling 25s. But again, a lot of guys ride those kind of width tires anyway. This is the last real opportunity for anybody with overall aspirations to try and crack Alberto Contador. You know, we've seen Contador's team haven't been particularly able to support him He's been high mountains yet. He has been isolated at times, I think partially be given, given the fact they've had a very, very hard opening week. But I think as the penultimate stage, as a showstopper, it's going to be quite an amazing theatre and crucible of pain. Oh. 
Yeah, it's easy to forget that having just ridden such a monster <coughs> climb, that actually there is still a really, really important part of the stage to come. Yeah. We saw in 2005 that there was a GC battle going on on the descent and then the valley road. It's quite easy to conceive that that's going to happen again this year, isn't it? Especially if it rains. I mean, the, the road surface does completely change. Obviously, this gravel section, just 10, 15 metres away, turns into very, very smooth tarmac, but it's quite a technical descent. <laughs> In between the descent of the Colle della Finest and the final third cat climb to the summit finish at Sestriere. And this is a part of the course you can get your teeth stuck into, especially if you get gapped on the climb of the Finest, depending on the wind direction, of course. Yeah, it's rare that a valley road is actually so important, but as we saw back in 2005, and Paolo Savaldelli was having to chase for the Malia Rosa. You're going to need some allies if you want to make up time, because this is a grippy road, isn't it? it certainly is, Si. What's the watts? 350. Holy hell, that's respectable. This is going to be a very significant climb. Although it's not the steepest, it could work, it could work out to be one of the hardest and a definite last chance saloon opportunity for that last minute shuffle in the top 10. Matt, I'll give you a tenner if you uh, work with me. Does it cost you a bit more than that, pal? Cappuccino and a tenner? Yeah, okay. All right. Get up, get up, stand up, die. Go, side, go! Get up, stand up, die. Get up, get up, stand up, die. That's worse than a third cap. That, that is going to oh. provide an excellent stage finish. Thanks, mate. That was a belt of a lead out. Good win. That is going to be an epic stage, in the true meaning of the word epic. So this stage will pretty much cap off, barring the final stage, an amazing three weeks of racing. And we've been here throughout with Giro content. You can get through to our playlist with all of it in one spot, just up there. And if you fancy having a go at riding these climbs, we've got how to ride Alpine climbs just down here. Yeah, or to just become pretty much a pro cyclist yourself, you just have to subscribe to GCN. Click on us or the mountains just behind us. Yeah, not the Ford Focus. No. Ignore no. that guy. No, it's probably quite nice, but well, I had one of those cars, it was, rock. It was all right. Didn't you had a walnut dash, didn't you? I had a fake walnut dash. What? What's now? Not to get through. Don't know how Contour's going to cope with this. Uh, interlude from our uh, stage 20 preview. Uh, we just had to stop and uh, watch uh, the Giro d'Italia and uh, have a, is that a second cappuccino. It's a second cappuccino. Well, that's the second hot chocolate side. I'm on chocolate. You're a pro, Matt. Rank amateur. Compliment. We'll be back on the bike soon. We will, honestly. Back, back give it an hour. Yeah, come on.